Hi, Tom Hughes here from Lumen Electronics, and today I'm going to show you what you can do with our brand new app, Gemba Docs. So many of you guys that do lean and have ever tried to document a complex process, you'll be familiar with these kind of documents. So this is actually modeled on a fast cap document, which Seating Matters then took and we took as a basis for Gemba Docs. There's 29 steps in that process and in the past that could have taken me a few days to do. And here at Lumen, we put this together in under 50 minutes. So I'm going to show you how we do that in our funky new app called Gemba Docs. So guys, just to show you briefly how Gemba Docs works, let's open up the app and create a document. I'm going to, you can create a standard operation. So I'm going to do a standard operation. So you give the procedure a name. I'm going to use the Siri because it's really cool. Test standard operation version one. It's a really quick way of doing it. You can type it in as well. Automatically gives it a reference number, date, raised, revision number, and today's date if you did revise it. You can put in PPE required. It gives it a separate field, so does tools, but I'm not going to use that. You can copy in a, a link say for YouTube, for example, and it'll create a QR code on the standard app that you can scan so you can integrate those. I have to give a time required. And then we, for each process step, it's as quick as this. Take your photograph, use that. We can edit it within the app. So I'm gonna pick that as something to focus on. You can draw on it. within the app. Nifty little feature. You can put in, I'm gonna use speech again. How to draw a line on a photograph. Full stop. You got 120 characters you can use in there. And that's how you create a process step. And you just repeat that till you finish your entire process. So I'm just going to show you the old way of doing that. Like back in the day, when I was doing it in this way, I'd have to take the photographs on my phone. I actually emailed. I found that was the best way of doing it. A bunch of photographs. Then I'd have to choose which photograph went in what process step. Then I'd inevitably find that the photograph wasn't good or I would have to paste it into another uh, editing suite to make changes to it. Then I would take my notes and write it in to the Excel sheet. Then I would take it back into production and the guy would inevitably say that it wasn't right. And then I would go all the way back up to my office again and do that all over again. Such a waste laden, painful friction process. This is one I did a few months back before Gamba Docs, and it literally took me a week. This was to assemble the sanitizer product, product we have. So, so the difference between all that back and forward in Excel is that I can do that process with John here on the Gamba. So we've got none of that back and forth. We can do everything we need to do in the app, discuss it, Yes, is that good? Test it and all of that without leaving the Gemba. And that's why we call it Gemba Docs. So let's look at it some more. I'm gonna just go in here and you can share that with colleagues. You can print directly from the device. That's how a standard operation looks like. That QR code is for editing. If you had a video, there's another QR code that would appear here. All your document details are on the bottom line. Then I'm gonna show you a couple of other nifty little features. I'm gonna pick a big one. To show you how to edit documents. So this is a really big document. So in here you'll see, you can insert a step before or after, like just to show you. That'll let you put a step in there and all of the other steps will move automatically. It's one of the big labor saving features. You can move a step. 
I'm going to move mine before six. You can choose to update the revision number. I'm going to, yeah. And you'll see that's been moved. Interesting little feature here. You can put in a QR code and use it as a process step, which is pretty nifty as some processes you want to describe with a video rather than just a simple photograph. So you can do that within Gemba Docs. Another pretty handy feature is being able to create a duplicate process. So this will create a duplicate. You could use it for, a, say, a similar machine, for example. And then you can go in and edit that and just change the process steps that are relevant. So I'm going to change the title. And in here, no. Now, if I wanted to, I could just edit that single process step because it's a variant of a product or a different machine and you don't have to do the whole standard up all over again so and uh, you could also use this feature if you wanted to say do a spanish version or a german version all you need to do here replace that text you could either if you're a good language speaker you can just do it in the app here or you could just copy that into Google Translate and use Google Translate and then go over it with somebody who's a good uh, speaker of that language to validate it. And that is a lot of what we're doing with the standard ops. This screen here, by the way, just shows you all the different standard operations. And uh, you can search Nomad. that'll show you the nomad related standard ops so you can search easily and uh that will do us for now i hope that's given you a better flavor of what gambadox can do